Welcome back into the Delmarva Sports Insider, guys. Time to transition over yes. to some college hoops. Trey, I believe, I think you want to the Not the real school. SU. Not the, the real Salisbury SU. The Salisbury men hosting Route yeah. 13 rival Wesley Wednesday night. And in this one, SU started out on fire. Freshman Johnny Fierstein knocking down the three. Then later, Chad Barsikowski with mm. a euro step through so the lane. Sad. Then off the feed from Barsikowski, goals get out to a 17-0 lead to start. Yeah, They're that's the way now. you want to start They're a game. Now. Wesley, though, going to get on the board, led by this guy. His name is uh, Brian Cameron. Had a game-high 23 points to lead the Wolverines on Wednesday night. But unfortunately, Cameron didn't have any help. Yeah. And Salisbury, yeah, they had plenty. One of Davis's six assists on the night. Out to Gary Burdell. He's a Stephen Decatur alum who splashes the three. The Seagulls take it 84-68. to and same matchup on the ladies' side. Goals leading by is. 14th in the fourth row. Monche Newsom Murray with the nice move in the lane cuts Wesley's deficit to a dozen. But as the stats would tell it, Salisbury dominated. There's Kurt Courtney Brigham. She had nine points in nine minutes off the bench. A little later, the goals kick it out to Kaylin French. She led the goals with 12 points. And the Seagulls, they put away the Wolverines late. Paige Bryce for two. As the shot clock expires, Salisbury, they take this one with ease at home. 59 to 40. Down in Princess Air, the UMES women hosting North Carolina A&T. Pick things up in the second half. Alexis Lazars getting down low, putting their squad up seven. The Hawks have the answer, and it comes from nice Ray Jean Martin. Floater it's in the lane, she's going to get the bounce right there. Trying to stage a comeback, those Hawks are, but the Aggies are very the tough, especially in transition. <laughs> Kayla Green, yeah, it was kids' day, uh, in case you missed it down there at <laughs> Eastern Shore. They don't just have bouncy houses all around the place, I promise you. And then check this out a little bit later, another three by Martin right there, showing off her range. That cut the lead to single digits, but A&T answering right back. Green knocking down the step back triple from the corner. That was filthy. They run away with it in the second half, taking it 57 to 45. And the men following right up against the number one team in the MEAC. First possession of the game. Good Aggies grief. turning defense into <laughs> offense. Cameron Langley Great with start. a steal and layoff to Aaron Edmond. And then Langley once again with a wide open mm. lane and reverse finish for A&T. What a move. But UMES not going away. Neron Thomas with a big board, and he's going to put that one back to get the Hawks on the board in this one. And then Ahmad Frost, we've heard that name this guy's been once or twice. Lately. He was feeling it in transition. The step Ooh. back, pull up three. Oh, Nothing but net as UMES tie things up in the first half. And then Frost again, check him out, pulls up with the baseline. Mid-range jumper and check. gets it yeah. to go. Two of his 15 points on the night right there. UMES would hang tough in this one, guys, but they would drop a heartbreaker to the Aggies, 66 to 64. And what did we say yeah, happened to yeah, them in the final seconds? It's just, it's, they just fell apart. They had the lead, but you got to remember this North Carolina A&T team undefeated in the MEAC, and they've beaten some top teams yeah. not only here on the shore, but nationally. They yeah. hung with Georgetown and really upset some Power 5 teams. But UMES had the chance to win the game yeah. and gave up a three-pointer late, and <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. That's happened from in there. like three or four games to UMES this year. Got to be able to close out games, yep. especially at home, Yes, if you want to improve your record that's season right. by season. That's right. But unfortunately, guys, we're hitting another break, but I know the three of us know, Trey, Jonah, and I, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the week to come as we enter the final full week of January. We'll be right back. My name is Colin Gaynor, student guard at Parkside High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider. 